Hello, good evening. How are you guys? How's it going, guys? Hello, how's it going? Good. How are you? Doing great, too. I'm glad to hear you. Glad to hear you good. Okay, so we are, what, five right now, and we have, we're waiting for more participants. Okay, it's a little bit better. Okay, so today we will continue with the present perfect, talking about the present perfect. Do you have any questions? Any questions about the present perfect? I would like to practice, teacher. Good evening. Great. Thank you, Gloria. Let's practice. Um, so, Gloria, what have yes. you been up to? What have you been up to? Um, what does that mean? No. This is a common question in the States. Americans, Americans always say, hey, How's it going? So the first, this uh, is okay. So first they say, "Hey, how's how are you? Like how are you? How are you?" They don't use "how are you," you know. In reality, nowadays, nowadays they use this. Well, they use more this salutation. Usa más este saludo. How's it? Mira las películas de los años cincuenta en blanco y negro. They go like, "Hey, how's it going?" How's it going? Okay. Okay, I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Okay. I'm doing well. I'm doing well. How about you? How about you? Okay. Then they ask, hey, what have you been up to? What have you been up to? Oh, hey, I got married. Okay. And then you continue, right? Sí. Okay, so una conversación muy natural en inglés podría ser esto y es perfecto. perfecto. What have you been up to? Es como cuando le preguntas a alguien en español, hey, eh, ¿qué ha sido de vos? ¿Qué has hecho? ¿Qué has hecho? Ajá, uh -huh. what have you been up to? Oh, I got married. ¿Alguien a quien tener ratos de no ver? Mm. Hey, what, you have, what have you been up to? ¿Qué fue de vos? Bo? ¿Qué has hecho? Ya. Yeah. <laughs> That kind of question. Sí, ¿Por qué? Okay. Contestar como I got married, o sea. Ajá, antes de rato de no verlo. Eh, como, oh. mm -hmm. Okay, oh, I went to the state, so I moved, I moved to another house. Mm -hmm. Now in Santa mm -hmm. Ana, I don't know. Yeah? So, mm -hmm. question in person perfect. Okay, what have you been up to? So, let's practice, let's practice. Um, okay, how do we practice? <laughs> Yes, a little. Remember, have you ever? Okay. Have you ever drank? Um, have you ever drank um, alcohol, Gloria? No, I haven't. Okay. Have you ever? Oh, I, I forgot to drink. Right, drank alcohol. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Have you ever drank whiskey? No, I haven't. Okay. Another way to make this question, have you ever drank, will be, have you ever tried? Have you ever tried whiskey? I think I'm missing an H here, isn't it? Yeah, whiskey. Okay. Have you ever tried whiskey? Tried. Tried de probar? Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, mm. have you tried. Have you ever tried um, sushi? Sushi, where's the H? Have you ever tried sushi? No, okay. 
Have you ever tried rock climbing? Have you ever tried rock climbing, Ulises? I think Ulises has, has tried rock climbing. Rock climbing. climbing rocks. Uh, no, Escalarlas. Escalar. No, no, I haven't. No, you haven't, but your um, your unit. No. Okay. No. That's how you say no, right? No, I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. No, I haven't. Or the positive yes, I have. Okay. Yeah. Simple as that. Okay. So you can make a question like that. Okay. Easier, have you gone or have you been? Have you gone to Paris? Have you gone to Paris? Or? No, I haven't. Haven't? Okay. Have you been? To Paris. Have you been to London? Have you been to London? In my dreams. <laughs> okay. Have you visited Big Apple? Have you visited New York? Very often in Sacramento, Mexicanos. No. <laughs> New York, I was thinking. <laughs> no, they call the Big Apple to Sacramento, right? La Gran Manzana. Mm. Okay, so that's the way you make questions. Okay, it's not needed that you go with, have you ever? You can also say, have you gone? Have you been? Have you visited? Have you jumped? Have you done? Hey, that's a good one. Have you done um para chuki para no it wasn't para chut para chut oh it's not taking it okay um you know when you jump from an airplane when you jump from an airplane it's called para chut um, para chut para chut mm -hmm. okay have you done jump bungee jumping Bungee jumping. Let me see if it takes it. Bungee jumping. There's a mistake here. Yeah, bungee, bungee, bungee jump, bungee jumping. No, it's not bungee. Benji, bungee jumping. No, it's bungee jumping. I can remember it. You know when you tied your sh when you tied your feet on a, on a bridge. You're in the bridge and you tie your feet and you throw yourself from the bridge. Mm. Del puente con la pita amarrada con lo. Mm, no. <laughs> bungee jumping, bungee jumping. Okay. So, have you done? Have you tried? Okay. Have you have you sang? Have you sang karaoke? There's a way. Yeah. You haven't? Okay. Yes, I have. Okay. So you can also say, have you ever sang karaoke? Have you sang karaoke? Okay. Um, hmm. so you... teacher, teacher, y para dar respuestas más, porque las que vi ahí son respuestas cortas. A, de, a ver si podría poner un ejemplo para dar una respuesta más. Yeah. Hablando, pues. Have you, when have you sang, when have you sang karaoke? When have you sang karaoke? Oh, okay. Once when I was a kid. Okay, and that's the next topic on your platform. When do we combine the present perfect with the simple past? Okay, you can answer in simple past. Puedes contestar en pasado simple. ¿Por qué? Porque estás hablando de una acción que pasó en el pasado, valga la redundancia, eh, una sola vez. Ya. Yeah. Okay. Uh, when I was 13 years old, at my parents' marriage, cuando tenía 13 años en, mi, en la boda de mis padres, I sang, I sang karaoke. And that's it. 
So, esa es la diferencia, ¿ok? Pe eh, teacher, perdón, no precisamente responderé con la misma estructura del, del pasado participio. Correcto, yes, that's correct. Ok, okay. No, okay. puede ser que solo lo hayas hecho una vez en el pasado y pues contestar con pasado simple, ¿no? That's the next topic, actually, so let's get into it. Mm -hmm. yep. So if there are no questions, the next next point in your platform was a, a test, okay? Make sure I actually activated the audio. Yeah, it is. Okay. So we have a knowledge check. That's the next point on your platform. Okay. Um, the first question, let's go one by one with you guys. So to see if you have comprehension. We says, help me. You're the first one on the list. What's the right answer here? Have you, have you done much exercise this week? Perfect. Uh, number three. Number three, yes, the third option, third option, yeah. Have you have you done much exercise this week? Very good. Okay, let's go with Gloria. Number two. Yes, I have been. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, yes, I have been to aerobic classes. No, have, have. Oh, sorry, I have been. I have been. Yes, I I have already been to aerobics classes four times. Hmm. Yes, I have already been to aerobics classes four times. Let's see if that's the right answer. Let's go with Iris Palacios. Long time no see. Hola. Is how player number one? Played. Okay, have you played any sports this month? Have you played any sports this month? I agree. I agree with you. Thank you. Yanira? No, no, Yanira. Okay, Carlos Escobar. Hello. Okay, so we. No? no? Okay. Oh, I, I haven't had the time. Excellent. No, I haven't had the time. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Janina. No? I think her microphone maybe doesn't work. Okay. Emperatriz, good evening. Good evening, teacher. What's the answer for number five? Uh, Seria, have... Uh, have been the second one. Okay, how many movies have you been to this month? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah, that's the only past participle, right? So easy, very good. Um, very good. So, recuerden, el proceso de eliminación es muy importante aquí. Sí, usando la lógica, ¿no? El verbo en pasado participio es been. No es been y are. So, very good. Great job. Let's go with oh, Karen. Hello, Karen. Hello, teacher. Number six. Actually, I haven't seen any yet. Oh, good. Actually, I haven't seen any yet. Very good. Myrna Lopez. Yeah, teacher. Number seven. Is have been. Okay. Have you been to any standing still recently? Okay. Have you been to any interesting party? Interesting party? Interesting. Paris? What? Paris. Paris. Recently. Recently. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay, Danny, number eight. Hello, Danny. Hello. Danny Slick. Okay, thank you, Danny. Number eight. Okay, um, no, I haven't go. Go? To Paris. To 
for quite a while. Quite a while. Okay. So, what do you think? Is it good or bad? Is that right, guys? Do we all agree? No. It's bad. Is the third having haven't gone? gone. Uh, Elimination Elimina Elimina process, right? This is the present. This is the past. The past. And this is the past participle. So go when gone. Okay, uh, Danny, me escribí 50 veces eso. Sí, go and gone. Okay, go when gone. Bah. Okay, so <laughs> mentira, Danny. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, Gloria again, number nine. Have, have you called mm -hmm. the first, the first one? Yeah, have you called any friends today? Very good. Past participle of the regular verbs is the same past, okay. Very good, and number 10, yes, I've already made three calls, okay? Make, made, made. Made. Mm -hmm. I've already made. Yeah, yes, I've already, I've already, yes, I've already, already made. three calls. Very good, guys. Excellent job. Let's go up to the next um, lesson objective. So let's go with lesson objective. Gloria, you want to practice? Let's practice. One, two, three, action. In this session, a conversation will be listened to in order to practice the present perfect and simple past. Oh my God, great job. Okay, good pronunciation, Gloria. Here, you said listened, listened. I like that, very good. So we have a video, guys. Let's listen to the video and then we we'll move on, okay? Let's listen to the video. Hi everyone, a conversation will be listened to in order to practice present perfect and simple past at the same time. Notice how they use both tenses during this conversation. Listen and repeat. Listen and practice. I'm sorry I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Ok, en esta lección, ya, yeah, en esta lección um, vemos cómo el pasado, el presente perfecto, que es lo que estamos viendo, nos lleva típicamente a hablar de una experiencia en el pasado simple. Igual que en el español, que estoy diciendo acá, eh, ¿dónde empieza la conversación hacia el pasado? Vamos a ver. Uh, decía Mandy, uh, it's delicious. I've had it several times. Okay, es deliciosa. La he probado muchas veces. Or how about Thai food? O qué tal la comida Thai? La comida Thai. Have you ever had green curry? ¿Alguna vez probaste el curry verde? Curry verde. De hecho, le dice, sí lo he hecho. De hecho, sí lo he hecho. Viví y ella empieza a hablar ya de un momento en su pasado. De hecho, sí lo he probado. Um, viví en Tailandia de adolescente y lo comí, ok, I ate it a lot there, lo comí mucho ahí, ok, no sabía eso, ¿cuánto tiempo viviste allá o allí? Um, viví ahí por dos años, viví ahí por dos años, entonces una conversación de una experiencia, ok, que tuviste, te puede llevar al pasado eh, simple, okay? So, repeating the pronunciation of this conversation. 
I'm sorry, I'm late. Have you been here long? Have you been here long? Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Listen, I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. It's delicious. I've had it. I've had it several times. Or how about Thai food? Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I ate it. Listen, I ate it a lot. I ate it a lot. I ate it a lot there. I ate it a lot there. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I lived there for two years. Okay, questions. No questions? Yes, teacher. Eh, eh, ¿A qué se refiere ella cuando dice several times? Muchas veces. Many times, several times, a lot of times. Okay. Y cuando dice, ¿a qué expresión se refiere ella cuando dice, actually, I have, I lived in Thailand as a teenager? Perfect question. I, ok. Siempre respondes con el tiempo gramatical que estás utilizando, ¿ves? Con el, ah, ok. La pregunta era, have you ever had a green curry? Actually, I have. I have had it. Mm, ok. Ah, podría haber dicho, I have had it. Sí, pero está abriendo y solo dice, yes, I have. Um, sí, igual que en la pregunta, emperatriz, would you marry uh -huh. Oye, qué raro, would you marry me? ¿Te casarías conmigo? Ok, ¿y cómo responde en las películas? Yes, I do. ¿Verdad? El yes, I uh -huh. do. Pero no tiene que ver, me están preguntando con would. Y usted contesta. Me responde con do. Ajá, ¿Por qué? Because, eh, I don't know, teacher. no sé cómo decírselo, pero le capto más o menos. Sí, me entiendes. Y sí quiero hacer esa acción. Sí hago esa acción. Yes, I do. Ah, ok. Ok. Emperatriz, do you take a shower every day? Yes, I do. Un ejemplo, usas el auxiliar para contestar. Can you dance? Yes, I can. Simple. Creo que todo. Very good. Any okay, thank you, teacher. Llegó esa pregunta. Muy bien. Any other questions? Questions, questions. No? Okay. So, I sent you this conversation to your uh, WhatsApp. Please open it. Practice. I'm going to split the group in smaller groups. So we can practice, okay? We are 12, so groups of three or four, okay? Yes, teacher. Okay, good, thank you. One, two. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay. Hey, let's go, guys. Accept the invitation, Oscar and Mirna. Okay, there you go. Vamos, Oscar. Let's go. Como sea. You listen, Danny. Okay. And this is my Mandy. Okay, I'm Peter. Peter. I'm sorry, I'm late. Have you have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? Have you chosen? 
chosen. I, I can decide. Decide. Have you, decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Eaten, eaten, eaten. Eaten. No, I haven't. It is good. It's delicious. Wait, wait, Danny, al revés. Is it, is it good? Is it good? Uh -huh. Is it good? It is delicious. I say I have it several times. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had a good story? Actually, I have. I live in Thailand. Have finger. I ate. Eat a lot there. I ate it a lot there. I ate it a lot there. I ate it a lot there. I didn't know that. How long did you live here? There. 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 How long did you live there? Repeat, Danny. How long did you live there? <sighs> How long did you live there? <laughs> Iris? I live I lived there for two years. 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 I lived there for yes. years. I lived there for two years. Perfect. Okay. Let's go with Janina. Keep practicing guys. Great job. Okay. 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 Decide. I can. I can decide. Okay. I can decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Moroccan. No, I haven't. Moroccan. 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 Moroccan food. Moroccan food. Okay. Okay. No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've enjoyed uh, several times. Okay, listen. Delicious. It's delicious. It's delicious. It's delicious. It's delicious. I've had it several times. I've had it several times. Look, I've had it. Uh, I've had it several, several times. Okay. So. okay. Or how about how about Thai food? Have you ever had green curry? Curry, curry. Curry. Actually, I have. I live in Thailand as a teenager. Teenage. I, Repeat, teenager. Teenager. El estrés, el estrés en el teen. Teenager. Teen. Oh, teenager. ¿Sí? Teenager. 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 Uh -huh. I eat it a lot there. Okay. I ate it. Ate it. Ate it. Ate it. Ate it. I ate it a lot there. Now put some speed, put some speed on it. I ate it a lot. I ate it a lot there. I ate it a lot there. I ate it a lot there. Okay. I didn't know that. How long did you live there? I live there for two years. Repeat. Years. Years. I want years. This space work. Years. Years. Very good. Years. There for two. A ver, a ver, Carlos, voy a empezar. Y... Okay. So, I'm, Thank I'm you. sorry, I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? I can't decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. Is it good? It's delicious. I've had it several times. I've had it, I've had it several times. I've had it several times. Perfect. Or how about Thai food? Have you ever had a green curry? Curry, curry. Curry, curry. Mm -hmm. curry. Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. Repeat. I ate it a lot. Sorry? Teenager. Repeat, teenager. Teenager. La fuerza, Carlos. Teenager. Teenager. I, I lived there as a teenager. I, I didn't know that. Said teenager. I didn't know teenager. that. 
Okay. How long did you live there? I live there for two years. Perfect. Very good, guys. Okay. Practice one last time. Okay. I'll be back with you. Okay. Thank Bye. You. Thank you. I. Karen. Yeah. Practice. Was I here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Yes. I want to be um, Mandy. No, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. 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 I'm sorry, I'm late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? There for two years. Years, repeat, years. 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 food. Years. 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 Okay, one more time. One, two, three, go. I'm sorry, I late. Have you been here long? No, only for a few minutes. Have you choice a restaurant yet? Have you, I can't. Okay, let's go. Have you chosen a restaurant yet? Chosen a restaurant yet? I can't be said. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. It is good. Okay, vamos parte por parte, chicas. I can decide. 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 Uh -huh. I can decide. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. Is it good? It's good. It's, de it's delicious. I have. I have eat several times. I have it. I have it. I have it. I have it. Se les escucha algo cortado, okay. Okay. Uh, uh, I've no. had it several times. So, I've had it. I've had it. I've had it. Several times. Several, several times. times. Or how about Thai food? Or how about Thai food? Thai food. Thai food. Thai food. Have you ever had green curry? Have you ever had green curry? Okay. Actually, I have. Actually, I have. I lived in Thailand as a teenager. I lived in Thailand, in Thailand as, a as a teenager. As a teenager. As a teenager. Okay. I ate a lot there. Listen, I ate it a lot there. I ate it a lot there. I ate it a lot there. I ate it. Uy, qué porrazo de agua. I ate a lot there. Oh, very good. I ate a lot there. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I did not know that. I did know that. Perfect. I did. I did. I did know that. I didn't. I didn't. I know that. Know that. Know that. Know that. How long? There. How long did you live there? How long did you live there? How long did you live there? There, there, there. I live 
I, I lived there for two years. I lived there for two years. I lived there, I lived for, there for two years. Year. 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 Years. 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 Lo que voy a hacer es que le voy a grabar ese audio y se lo voy a enviar al grupo. Pero así, lento. Pero bien. Sí, porque tiene muchas palabras ahí complicaditas. Ok, vamos a volver todos. Let's go. Allá. Okay, hello. We're back. We're almost back. Okay, so we're back. Uh, 10, we're missing two. We are 12. Rain is coming. A huge storm is coming. A huge storm is coming. Let me make a, a, a quick experiment, okay? I'll do a quick experiment right now. Uh, let's see. Let me choose a victim. Danny? <laughs> Danny, ¿por qué yo dice Danny? <laughs> okay, so Patricia, let's go with Patricia. Daddy doesn't want to tell us. Okay, Patricia, repeat. What happened? Okay, repeat, Daddy, repeat. A huge. Daddy? Hi. Ah, listen. A. Uh, A. Uh, huge. Huge. Storm. Storm is coming. Coming. Okay. Okay, listen. A huge storm is coming. Storm. Uh, coming. A huge storm are coming. Okay. Uh, a huge storm is coming. A, a huge storm is coming. Okay. Storm. A storm is coming storm storm is coming perfect eso es llamamos un ejercicio de articulación un ejercicio a mejorar, mejorar tu audio entonces lo que voy a hacer esa esa conversación que acaban de practicar se la voy a grabar nomás terminemos la clase y se las envío al, al whatsapp uh -huh. propósito de que ustedes se duerman este con los audífonos y escuchando mi bella voz. Entonces, van a repetir frase por frase. Como no estás leyendo, el típico problema que tenés es que tú estás viendo las letras, ¿no? Ya te lo he dicho, ya estás viendo que Karen se lee Karen, ya sabes, Pedro, ¿no? Pero en inglés se lee Karen. ¿Ok? Karen, Karen. No dicen Karen en inglés, right? Solo un ejemplo, ¿ok? Sí, entonces, eh, mi nombre, por ejemplo, los americanos no leen Rafael, lamentablemente. Leen Rafael, Rafael. <risa> Rafael, Rafael. Ajá. Entonces, vamos a hacer ese experimento. Yo le voy a enviar el audio hablado articuladamente, más despacio, y ustedes escuchan y repiten, escuchan y repiten. No entendí qué dijo, le pongo pausa al retroceso otra vez, otra vez, ¿ya? La repetición es la clave para la pronunciación, chicos. El oído, ok. So, let's continue. Let's go with the next part of your platform. We still have 20 minutes, so let's do it. Ok. So, now we have the next class objective, which will be written by, I don't know, Oscar? Oscar. Okay. Okay, Oscar, will you read, please? Can you read, please? Okay. In this lesson, participants will learn when to use present perfect verbs, simple past. Good, Oscar. Just repeat, participants. 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 Will learn when to use... Present perfect versus simple past versus simple. Past. Okay, good. Let's go. So we have um, the, the grammar to compare the present perfect and the simple past. So let's listen, pay attention, please. 
and take notes if you need to, okay? Hello to all. In this lesson, we will learn when to use present perfect versus simple past. What we're about to watch is question form in present perfect. Notice the way to answer. Present perfect versus simple past. Use the present perfect for an indefinite time in the past. Use the simple past for a specific event in the past. Have you ever eaten Moroccan food? Yes, I have. I ate it once in Paris. No, I haven't. I've never eaten it. Have you ever had green curry? Yes, I have. I tried it several years ago. No, I haven't. I've never had it. Food? Yes, I have. I ate it once in Paris. No, I. Okay. So, where is the simple past here? Anybody? Okay. When say, when she say, I ate? I ate it once in Paris. Very good. So, that action happened only one time. I ate it once in Paris. Okay? Very good. And what? I tried. Good, Imperatrice. Thank you. So, have you ever had green curry? Yes, I have. I tried it. I tried it several years ago. I tried it several years, years ago. La probé hace muchos años. And again, several, Imperatrice. Several. Many years ago. Long time ago. Okay. Synonyms. Very good. Okay. Any questions? Any questions? Okay, give me just one second. I'm gonna close the door and the curtains. Okay, <laughs> one second. Okay. Okay, sorry, I wasn't expecting the rain. I wasn't expecting the rain. Okay, do you have any questions, guys? Hey, teacher. Yep. When I say I tried, it's a relative, uh, como intentar. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, en ese contexto, Oscar estaría... Oh. Estaría dando a entender que no te gusta, right? So, la pregunta es, have you ever had green curry? Alguna, y ahí, qué raro, ¿no? No se pronuncia igual. Si lo pronuncias, si lo tradujese al español perfectamente, sería, ¿has tú alguna vez uh, tenido curry verde? Curry verde, curry es un plato, ¿no? Pero no, se entiende la pregunta como, ¿alguna vez has probado el curry? Okay. ¿Alguna vez has probado el curry? La respuesta es, yes, I have. Sí, lo he hecho. Okay. Se sobreentiende. Lo probé. Okay. Muchos años atrás. Lo probé muchos años atrás. Es decir, que solo lo probaste. No. Por eso fue hace muchos años, porque ya nunca lo volviste a probar. No te gustó. ¿Ya? Good question. Great job. Okay. Any other question? Okay, guys, uh, let's make questions. No questions? Are you sure? Okay, so let's move on. We have a knowledge check today. And let's do it together, okay? Wow. Huge storm. Okay, can you hear me? All good? Yes. Yes. 
Okay, so let's go one by one. Karen. <laughs> uh, have you ever sung in a karaoke bar? Okay, Karen, repeat. Yes. Repeat. Say. Okay. Sorry, sing. 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 Okay, so the one, two, or three? Three, three. Third one, okay. Have you ever sung in a karaoke bar? Let's see. Sing some song, sing some song. Number two. Yes. I. Yes. Yes. What will it be? How? Uh, Danny? Number three, I think, I think. Yes, I, I have. I have, I have, I think. Yes, I have, okay. I sang one on my birthday. Yes, I have. I sang one on my birthday. Okay. Es un sistema que acabamos de ver, ¿no? Yes, I have. Okay, aquí viene el presente simple. Canté una en mi cumpleaños, okay. Next question. Have you ever lost something? Something valuable. Listen. Something valuable. 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 Listen. Something. 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 Tarea. Something. Tarea para todos escuchar a los Beatles. La canción se llama Something. Yeah. Something. Something. Yeah, listen and repeat. Okay, so have you ever lost in Now listen, valuable, valuable, valuable. Valuable, Have you ever lost something valuable? Okay, have you ever lost? Oh, sorry. Have you ever? Something valuable. Okay, number four. Number four. I have it. Hey, Gloria. Teacher, Suban can I see? Uh huh. Oh, here? Can I see? No, abajo. Oh, Bajar, sorry. Oh, I'm down. <laughs> you can say. No, I haven't lost. You can I, say. Haven't, I haven't lost. Okay, wait, listen, you can say, teacher, move down. Repeat, teacher, move down. Move down. Move down. down. Uh -huh. Or you can say, teacher, scroll, scroll, okay. scroll down, scroll down. You got yeah. it? Scroll. Uh, scroll down. Scroll up. Scroll up. Scroll up and down. Up. Or scroll down. Wow. Yeah, move up, move down, scroll down, scroll up. Okay. So, number four, Gloria. Is the first. No, I haven't lost. Uh huh. No. The second. Okay, my brother has lost. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, the second one, right? No, I haven't. But my brother lost his camera. Listen, camera. Camera. Yeah. Camera. 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 On a trip once. Okay, so let's remember. Acuérdense que la negativa iría en el presente perfecto porque es una respuesta corta a una pregunta cerrada, ¿no? So, decíamos con la emperatriz, esas las contesto con el auxiliar del tiempo. ¿sí? No, I haven't. Y luego hablamos en este tema de que luego voy a hablar con el tiempo pasado simple. Okay, but my brother lost his camera on a trip once. Okay, next, uh, Luis. Number five. Luis, hello, Luis. Anybody there? Okay, uh, let's see, Carlos, I saw Carlos somewhere. 
Go. Let's go. Number five. Uh, have you have you ever? Oops, I don't remember if is gotten or got. Hmm. Okay. Listen, American. American. Have you ever have you ever gotten a traffic ticket? Sorry, that will be the opposite. Yeah, I think it's British. That's British. Got in. Have you ever gotten a traffic ticket? Have you ever gotten a traffic ticket? Or American? American. Have you ever got a traffic ticket? Vamos a ver si la si la plataforma ha agregado estas dos como posibles opciones. ¿Por qué? Porque en, um, en británico se puede decir got in y los americanos ocupan más got. Have you ever got a ticket? Wait, have you ever got a traffic ticket? Have you ever got a traffic ticket? Okay, let's go. Next. God. Number six, Oscar. Yes. Okay, Oscar. Yes. Um, I have... Uh -huh. Once I got a ticket and I had to pay fifty dollars. Fifty dollars, very good. Yes, I have. One I got a ticket and I had to pay fifty dollars. Great job, Oscar. Number seven. Mirna, Mirna. Yes, teacher. Hmm? Number seven. Uh have you ever seen? Yeah, have you ever seen? Sing, yes. Yeah. Have you ever seen a live concert? A live concert. Okay, have you ever seen a live concert? Okay. <laughs> Number eight, Janira. Number three. Yes, I have. I saw you too at the Experion last year. Excellent. Yes, that's the way you need a beautiful day. Yes, I, I saw you. So the weekend away. Music, awesome music. Okay. Number nine. Have you ever been? Have you ever been? Huh? For an important appointment. Have you ever been late? Listen, have you ever been late for an important appointment? Yes, that's the answer. Okay. And last will be the answer to the previous question. Who else, who else is here? Gloria. Oh, Eric, Eric, hey, Eric. Uh, No, I haven't. Mm -hmm. The second one. Esto cierto es una T, debería ser una T. But my sister. Mm -hmm. Is for. Is was. Thirty minutes later. Is waiting. But my sister. It's a question. Have you ever been late for an important appointment? Oh, God, no. I have, but my sister was. That's Karina's late for her wedding. Wow. 30 minutes tarde para su boda. El wedding. No tomo. El wedding. No lo tomó God Garden, ¿ves? A ver, entonces, ¿qué, ¿qué habrá tomado correcto? Probablemente Garden, porque ese es el pasado participio de God. De Get. Get God Garden, sí. 
Uh -huh. So, esto está britanizado, digamos. Okay. <laughs> It's in British. It is in British. Okay, guys. So, ahí están las respuestas también de su examen, que sería el próximo. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about four and scenes. Okay. And we're going to find the last two. We're going to study the last two topics of this unit. Okay. okay. El jueves tenemos nuestra, nuestra última uh, evaluación de midterm y ahí sí voy a estar muy bien en la evaluación final. Son cinco temas, revisen la plataforma, estudienlos para que lo podamos revisar eh, el día jueves, ¿ok? okay. Any, questions? Any questions? No, no teacher, thank you. Great. Gracias. Thanks. Have a good night. Good night.